What's up, everyone? Welcome to day one of our 28-day online program. Today's day one is going to be a performance test. So if you have a pen and paper on hand or if you want to use the notes section of your phone, we're going to do this exact same workout on the last day, day 28. So what we're, what we're going to do here is we're going to have 14 exercises for one minute each. You're going to do as many reps as you can for each exercise and then record those reps. And then when we come back to this workout on day 28, your goal is to beat those numbers. So simple, 45 second break. We don't usually have 45 second breaks, so don't get used to it. Uh, but for today, we're just testing out your starting level of fitness and the goal for this program at least is to beat that at the very end. All right, so we have 14 exercises like I was saying. First one will be push-ups, either on your toes or your knees. If you start on your toes, make sure you stay on your toes. If you start on your knees, stay on your knees. At least that way you want to be consistent and have uh, a way to measure the baseline. Second one is going to be a sit-up. So there's always going to be cues to kind of help develop a standard. You're going to sit up, feet planted, I like to go hands, touch the wall or touch the ground, and then touch your feet. Touch the ground, touch your feet. Burpees, you can do one or two days, you can go chest to ground burpees, meaning your chest has to hit the ground, come up, feet up, hands overhead. Or you can go on your hands, feet up, feet back, feet off the ground, hands overhead. Lunges, you don't need weights for this one, we're just going to go bodyweight lunges. Forward or reverse is fine, you're counting the total amount of steps that you take with those lunges, you want that back knee about an inch off the ground. Terminators, you don't need your dumbbells for this one, so you're going to get into a push-up position. Keep your abs engaged, and you're just going to pull. Try not to over-rotate here. Take your time, count your reps. If you can't do that on your toes, drop down to your knees. Next one will be nice and simple, jumping jacks. So just thank you for those hands over your head. After jumping jacks, we have chest press on your back. What we're looking for here, elbows on the ground, elbows fully extended. Elbows must touch the ground each rep. After that, we're going to do jackknife. So alternating legs, we jump one, two. You can't come up into that full setup. You can just go reach one, two. Make sure you come up to that crunch every time as well. After jackknife, you have planted push ups. So you go from a low plank to a high plank. Switch arms, do not always push it up from the same side. You can't do that on your toes. Drop down to your knees. After the plank push-up, we're going to do some get-ups. All the way back. And come on. If you can't do get-ups, I want you to practice them. Whether you're doing an explosive sit-up or getting as close as you can as you can with the get-up, and then we're going to retest again in 28 days to see if you can get that get-up. Remember, it's a lot of speed, explosiveness, and leg strength. After the get-ups, you have dumbbell thrusters. So thrusters, you're going to rest the weights on your shoulders. Full squat, come up, press. Full squat, press. Make sure you get good depth, so you're not just doing a push press, but instead you're going all the way down, and then coming all the way back up again. Alternating snatch. So with one dumbbell, bend the knees, knees from the hips, you don't go all the way down here. Keep your back straight, overhead, switch sides. One, two, three. Make sure you're fully extending. It's one smooth motion overhead for that one. The next one is the body weight leg extension. So push on position, you're gonna push your hips back, and then extend. Push back, extend. And when you get into that extension, make sure you fully lock out those knees, squeeze your quads. Last one here is just body weight squats. So you're gonna have your feet about your shoulders apart, get down low. So try to get down low and lock out the top. And you're just trying to get as many reps as you can and follow these exercises. So one minute on the clock, 45 second break between, get a pen and paper, get your phone out and you want to record these reps. Really important that we beat them, hopefully, on day 28. So we're going to start with a push-up in about 30 seconds. So grab your stuff. We'll begin in three, two, one. Let's go. Push ups. 
So make sure you get that full range of motion, meaning hand on first side, head right down into the ground. Full range of motion, hands are right next to your shoulders, not out the front of your ears. And just keep wrapping them out. 20 seconds down, 40 to go. Obviously, one minute is going to be a lot longer than we normally do. So I don't expect each set to be unbroken. We need no breaks. About halfway there, counting those reps, take a break if you need to, and then just keep going back at it. Just because you stop for a second doesn't mean your whole set's done. 18 seconds left. Last 10, keep going. In three, two, one. Good, so take 45 seconds. Next, we're gonna move on to sit-ups. So remember, feet grounded, hands touch the ground behind you, hands touch your feet in front. If you can't do sit-ups, crunches instead. Make sure you record that. And just because I'm not allowed to have music here doesn't mean that you shouldn't. So especially for a workout like this, really simple workout, get your music going, get you all pumped up, get as many reps as you can here. So sit-ups are coming up next in about 20 seconds. Make sure you're keeping track of those reps too. Okay, let's start. In three, two, one, go. So floor, foot. Try to minimize the amount of movement coming from your feet here. We'll try not to talk too much when the sets are going for you all. To do your thing. About halfway there, 30 seconds to go. This one you're really feeling quiet. 
A lot of legs up today. Okay, 10 seconds. And then we'll do some body weight lunges. In three, two, one, go. So chest is always up, back is always straight. Alternate those legs. Make sure you get that full rep in so you're not going so fast that your reps are, are choppy and sloppy. One of my favorite finishers for a leg workout, put some time on a clock and just do walking lunges for a few minutes, non-stop. As a good finisher to get a lot of blood flowing, get your quads and your glutes. Halfway, 30 seconds. We do lunges all the time because it's such an effective exercise. So many great variations to do.
We'll start in 25 seconds. So catch your breath, drink some water now. Now is your recovery time. Like I said, we're not gonna be doing these 45 second breaks all the time. So enjoy it while you can. 15 seconds, we'll get started. Just like the sit up is a good ab core test, so you really feel, especially for a minute, you really feel the abs burning by the end of it. We start at 10 seconds, jack knives just body weight here. In three, two, one, go. So reach and all to the ends. Three, two, one, 
Next, we have the get-ups. Remember, if you can't do get-ups, so try to get as close as you can. Now, if you're not even close, I don't expect you to all of a sudden be able to get to get-ups in the very end of your workout program, unless you practice all the time. But if you're already pretty close, and you work out every day, you might get enough to kind of not do the get-ups for a rep or two by the end. The key, speed, explosiveness, and get your feet underneath you. Meaning, don't try to stand up with your feet too far out in front. We're gonna start in 10 seconds. If you'd rather choose a totally different exercise to modify, feel free. Uh, but I like to kind of choose one as like a, a good aiming point. Three, two, one, guys. You can either stand or jump at the top. Your call.
10 seconds. Three, two, one. So next we're gonna do leg extensions. You're gonna get to that push-up position. Bend knees, just like this, and just dead. If you're not coordinated enough to do it yet, pause the video, practice a couple times, get the hang of it, and then get into it. So leg extensions, then body weight squats, and then we're done. 25 seconds, we get started. So both of these last two exercises really meant to hit the quad, so you feel a good leg burner to finish off the workout today. All right, we're gonna start in 10 seconds. Okay, in three, two, one, let's go. Hips back, knees bent. Remember, get that full extension from your uh, legs and squeezing your quads at the top. Seconds, last ten. Three, two, one. All right. So you all survived day one. Hope you had a good workout. Hope you have a great day. And I'll see you tomorrow.